Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to this video, which is very exciting for me. It's an idea I've been wanting to do for a long time and I finally got the push last night. So if you wanna know what that is, then just keep on watching. So this is a pan that palette video. I've been wanting to do this project for a while and then last night I saw a post go up on the Pantastic Ladies collab page on Facebook. I will link that below um, and the project is called pan that palette hashtag let's get naked and the reason that is is because we're all going to pan urban decay naked palettes naked one naked two naked three naked smoky naked heat whatever <laughs> also um, some people are not able to have access to a naked palette so they're doing either a naked dupe or something that is reminiscent of one of the naked palettes like nudes, for example. This project runs from January 1st, 2018 to December 31st, 2018. Today is April 6th for me and I'm so I'm starting a little bit late but that's okay <laughs> um, nothing to worry about the creator of this project is Amanda on the Pantastic Ladies uh, collab Facebook group you just need to answer a few questions in order to join the group to keep out all the spammers and so if you're interested you can find Amanda there we have a master list on the page of the members and their social media links um, so that we can all keep up with each other and track each other's progress, which is kind of what makes this fun. The first thing we should do is show you which palette I'm panning. This is a brand new palette to me. I mean brand new. I've used it like four times and it is the Naked 3 palette. Um, Hubby got this for me for Easter and this is what it looks like. I will insert a close-up photo right here. just to track my progress with, but essentially, like I said, the palette is brand new. I have used it four times, including today, because it is what I have on my eyes. Let's go ahead and get into a few questions about the project, about panning, and about me as a project panner. Um, first of all, the question stands, why pan a palette? Some of you um, may be wondering why on earth would you want to use up an entire um, palette in your collection. And for me, I ask you, why not? Uh, it sounds like fun to me. Also, there's an expression in painting, which is, is it about the process, not the product? And for me, that's entirely true. I am a lifelong learner. My dad raised me to be inquisitive. Um, to have an inquisitive mind and think about things logically, analytically, what have you. And so for me, this is going to be like a great big science experiment. The next reason why is that I'm always interested in learning how to use up things in my collection most effectively. I think panning a palette is going to teach me a lot first of all about my makeup habits and my makeup habit or makeup usage habits um i want to see if it's even feasible for me to um hit pan on an entire palette in one year or less than and also i just want to learn as i've said in my other project panning videos i want to learn just how long it takes to use makeup up um, from the very beginning, from the time that I hit pan until I actually finish the product, all of that, I am very curious about that. I have panned palettes in my past. The one little eyeshadow quad, um, I will link down below my intro video to my channel, but um, I've mentioned several times that I had the same little eyeshadow quad for about 10 years and I hit pan on every single shade in that palette 
Um, but again, I did have it for 10 years and I didn't use it up. So now is probably a lot different because I wear makeup almost seven days a week, whereas then I was only using and wearing makeup when I was leaving the house, essentially, which for me, being a stay-at-home mom, I don't go to work. Um, I get out a couple times a week, whether it's to go shopping or to go with my daughter to dance or school, you know, functions, things like that. <clears throat> So, you know, partially I want to try this project now that I'm wearing makeup every day. And then also um, a big part of joining this project as well as my project pan hashtag it's been emotional, which I'll throw up here in the cards <clears throat> for you guys. Excuse me. Um, and that is the camaraderie, um, just hanging out online, um, supporting one another within a smaller group. I really like the Pantastic Ladies collab page and I haven't felt like I needed or wanted to join any other pages um, in the project panning community, but uh, that's, that's another reason why I've started these couple of projects is just for the camaraderie, getting to know other people, getting to um, discover new or smaller YouTube creators, for example. Um, it's, it's just a nice way to do it. It's a nice way to be known. Um, it's a, just another outlet in addition to uh, YouTube for me in which I can chat with other people about makeup just as much as I want. There's always somebody there. <laughs> um, and then the next thing I wanted to talk about is why this palette um, specifically. This was a really hard choice actually um, when I opened up my Facebook page last night and I saw this project and I was like, hey, I have a naked, bleh, I have a naked palette and I've been thinking of panning a palette. Why don't I do that one? And the ball just kind of got rolling from there. A couple of things that solidified the decision to me to use the Naked 3 palette is this palette is you know, if you don't know, and I definitely knew when I purchased it, it's kind of all one color theme. It is very much rose gold, rose pink. You know, you've got a little gray theme going on here, but all of them have an undertone of a pink or a purple, in my opinion. Um, so the first thing I would like to learn is whether purchasing a color themed product or eyeshadow palette is actually a good investment for me. You know, will I feasibly get a lot of use out of a palette that's almost entirely pink? Um, I love pink, I love pink on my eyes, I especially love pink all year round, um, and that's part of the reason why I chose this palette as well. I think pink for me is a relevant shade year round. Um, sometimes the tones will change, like I will get into brighter and brighter pink lipsticks as it gets warmer and warmer. Um, but in general, I don't think there's a time, time of year where I wouldn't use these shades. So I thought it would make a good choice for that. This is a product where I had almost had a touch of guilt after I purchased it. From the beginning of my journey in beauty, when I started getting back into makeup about a year ago and watching YouTube as a viewer and things like that, I was immediately drawn to the Naked Palette collection from Urban Decay. Growing up, for me, people did talk about Urban Decay and it was like a status symbol when I was in high school if you wore makeup from Urban Decay, um, but it was like sort of that well-known well-known, high-end brand that people talked about in my generation during high school. And that really hasn't changed here on YouTube. When I watch different channels, most people have a naked palette or have tried a naked palette or can compare things to a naked palette. Um, and so part of it is that I wanted to try the formula and just see what all the hype about was about. But part of it too is just kind of like a joining the club type of thing, which I really am happy to say I don't do a lot in my collection or stash. I try not to buy things just because everybody has them or talks about them or raves about them. Um, but this just kind of seemed like a rite of passage. 
I've been thinking a long time, like I said, almost a year now about which one I would purchase if I ever did purchase a naked palette. And it just so happened that I picked this one. The next thing I want to talk about is goals. My overall goal would be to hit pan um, on every single shade by De December 31st. Um, and I think I can do it. Uh, I'm pretty positive at this point. Of course, I've only used this palette four times, so uh, that's all relative. But overall, I would just like to hit pan on as many pans as I can. And I would really, really like to just learn, learn, learn through the process of trying to pan a palette. My goal for the month of April is going to be to make a few noticeable dips in at least three shades. This first shade, Strange, would be an easy one to pan, um, being that it is a white or bone colored shade, and a lot of people use that for setting down their primer or their concealer or whatever. Um, but I am currently working on panning the NYX HD finishing powder in the shade translucent so that is what I've been using every day to set down my primer um, so I'm not gonna work on that shade and you know I think this one right here which I blue is called limit um, this matte rose shade is another one that may be very easy for me to pan because it is a really good transition shade so that might be one that we see a dip in next month. But other than that, I'm just going to play with this palette. Again, it is still new to me. And so I want to look into the versatility of the palette and find my favorite looks. Think ahead to, you know, as spring and summer comes in, I may want to work on some of these lighter shades versus these darker shades that I can make more use of um, you know, just seasonally speaking in the fall and the winter, which we do have ahead of us before this project is over. I thought that I would give myself the option of a supplemental palette. Um, again, I'm trying to learn as much as possible through this process. And one of the things I would like to discover would be which palettes would pair nicely with the Naked 3. And since I'm already panning it for my year-long uh, project pan 2018, I'm going to go ahead and supplement in with this palette for the month of April, the Lorac Mega Pro 2. The goal on this one is to hit pan on four to six shades by the end of the year. Um, so I won't go too much into that but I will link below my latest update on my 2018 pa uh, pan project. Um, but this is what I'm gonna use to supplement this month. I think it has some nice complimentary um, shades in here. And you know, I'd like to make some progress or continue making some progress on this palette. And I really do like it. I think it's going to work nicely. And then the last thing that I wanted to put out there to you guys is please, if you are a project panner, join us. Or if you would like to, please leave me some tips down in the comments. I would love to have a conversation. Are you currently panning a palette? Do you have any tips when using a palette like the Naked 3 for me? Um, how do you pan uh, things quicker? You know, I've heard things like using your brush in a concentrated place in the pan, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis will get you to the pan quicker. But again, if you're one that runs your whole brush through the entire pan, you know, you are going to still p hit pan eventually. It's just going to be a bigger pan when it finally shows. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're excited like I am to see my progress on this project. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.